Costa Mesa, California is not for everyone. In this video, I'm going to go over four things that you should probably know before deciding that Costa Mesa is the place for you. If you're on the fence about Costa Mesa, stay tuned. My name is Hanny Jazzarelli, aka Hanny the Realtor, and I'm a real estate expert right here in Orange County, California. If you're interested in learning more about living, working, and thriving here in Costa Mesa, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon so that you get notified every time I release a new video. And if you're moving anywhere in Orange County, I get calls every single day and love it. There's nothing I like more than picking up the phone to help someone learn about this beautiful place. So if you have questions, feel free to call me, email me, text me. My number will be on the screen as well as in the bio for the video below. So what are some of the harsh realities about Costa Mesa, California? Let me preface this by saying that I do actually live here in Costa Mesa and I love it here, but I want to make sure that you get an accurate representation of what this place is really like. First of all, and don't let anyone fool you on this, but Costa Mesa has more than your average amount of traffic here in Orange County. And frankly, particularly during the warmer parts of the year, it can be a lot worse than a lot of the rest of Orange County. And if you've driven in Orange County for any significant amount of time, you know that is really saying something. Pretty much all of Orange County is subject to the woes of a significant rush hour due to our high population density we have here. So you may ask, why is Costa Mesa's traffic so bad? And in my opinion, geography is probably the biggest reason. Costa Mesa is a tourist magnet alongside the very popular Newport Beach and Huntington Beach. And while the city is extremely accessible via the 55, 405, and 73 freeways, there is a ton of traffic that ends up passing either through or into Costa Mesa on the way to those coastal cities. You can think of the 55 freeway in particular as the gateway to the beach for pretty much all of central and northern Orange County. And the heart of Costa Mesa sits directly at the end of the 55 freeway. Put two and two together and you get some serious congestion. Ask pretty much anyone from anywhere in the northern half of Orange County how they're gonna get to Newport Beach for a fun day on the sand. They're gonna tell you they're taking the 55 freeway and they're gonna be driving through Costa Mesa. Because of this, the intersection of the 55 freeway and 19th street can sometimes be backed up for miles. And just a little further down the road, after the 55 freeway turns into Newport Boulevard when it meets 17th Street, you get similar congestion on a daily basis. And in this case, it's not really subject to that same seasonality as it would be for the beach traffic coming down the 55. So this makes for a hell of a headache getting into and around Costa Mesa during those warmer parts of the year where the congestion is really built up in both of those intersections. And yet another contributor to what makes that traffic really bad during certain parts of the year is the Orange County Fair. As a lifelong resident of Orange County and a current resident of Costa Mesa, I see the Orange County Fair as a bit of a mixed bag. I love fairs, so I really have a hard time kind of poo-pooing it overall, but it does cause a lot of congestion. Using last year as a benchmark, the Orange County Fair had over 1 million attendants. Actually, closer to 1,050,000 if we're going to be specific. And this is down significantly from the all-time attendance high in 2018 of 1.5 million people. That is a whole hell of a lot of people making their way down the 55 freeway and to the OC Fair and Event Center here in Costa Mesa. Without a doubt, they're looking for a great night with their friends and family, but make this same journey for yourself and you will see firsthand. During fair dates, and specifically during fair hours, it is incredibly frustrating to head any direction on the southern half of the 55 freeway. And the surface streets end up absolutely gridlocked too. Trying to get to the fair during rush hour ranks right up there with the worst traffic I've ever experienced. We're talking 5.30 p.m. on the 5 or 405 freeway, right in the center of Los Angeles County. Bad traffic. If you're not a local, or if you are a local and haven't been on the 5 or 405 freeway, it means that the traffic is not moving. Pretty much the entire freeway gets backed up for miles as the residents of Orange County head out for a good night with friends and family at the OC Fair. So they're having a good time, but there's a trade-off with the traffic for sure. That said, in my opinion, the OC Fair is an absolute blast and it's worth it. They plan a ton of events, uh, and as of this year, I think they have 67 planned, and I'm sure they'll probably be adding more. Everything from stand-up comedy, to country music concerts, to monster truck shows, and more. There's for sure something for everyone. And if you haven't checked out the OC Fair, be sure to head over there and check it out for yourself. Just be prepared to sit in traffic for a while as you drive there. And speaking a little more broadly, hearkening back to our original topic here, if you're going to live in Costa Mesa, be prepared to deal with traffic as part of your daily life. A second harsh reality about Costa Mesa is that Costa Mesa absolutely has a high cost of living. In terms of Orange County cities, Costa Mesa is actually quite affordable. However, when comparing that price to nationwide averages, Costa Mesa is the opposite of cheap. And if we're talking more specifically about real estate, Costa Mesa is outright expensive, and it is not an affordable place to buy a home. This gets worse every single year. The median price point as of April 2022 was $1,460,000 for single family detached homes. And for attached homes like townhomes and condos, the median price point was $835,000. 
properties here are expensive. And of course, there are neighborhoods where things are going to be more affordable. And the whole nature of median price points is that there are numbers above and below that. But speaking globally, buying a home here is pretty unaffordable for a lot of folks. It's not impossible. It's just pricey. There are a number of positive reasons for this, right? The central location, the beach proximity, the relaxed lifestyle, the cool restaurants, the cool small businesses, etc. But all of that aside, it is pricey. In saying that though, some of the other aspects of living here in Costa Mesa aren't quite as expensive. So maybe things will even out in your eyes. Check out my video on the cost of living in Costa Mesa and judge for yourself. If we are giving an honest portrayal of Costa Mesa overall, the important thing to know is the city has a high cost of living, full stop. A third important reality to know about Costa Mesa is that the city is not crime free. Orange County is generally a safe place to live, and I don't want to paint some picture that Costa Mesa is an exception to that. When people think of Orange County, pretty universally one of the first things that come to mind is that this is a safe place to be. And in Costa Mesa, I suppose that's no exception. As compared to national averages, the violent crime statistics in Costa Mesa are lower pretty much across the board. And those are what you would classify as, I guess, life-threatening crimes, things that could actually cause you personal harm. But if we talk about property crimes, things like theft or motor vehicle theft or break-ins and things like that, Costa Mesa has about a 15% higher rate of these types of crimes than the national average. From a practical standpoint, what exactly does that mean for you as a resident? Maybe we can start with what it doesn't mean. What it doesn't mean is that you won't be safe walking around at night. In fact, the rate of violent crime here in Costa Mesa is quite low overall. I still wouldn't recommend walking down empty streets and alleys during the middle of the night, but that applies pretty much anywhere. Nefarious people pretty much exist in all communities and all walks of life. However, as it pertains to property crimes like theft and burglary and vandalism, you are going to be more likely to have something stolen or broken, but I would say less likely to be held up while that is happening. And if this is something that is of a direct concern to you, you can certainly move to one of the neighborhoods in Costa Mesa that has those lower crime rates. East Side and Central Costa Mesa, for example, are both rated as an A plus on crimegrades.org. So keep that in mind if this is a worry for you. Broadly speaking, Costa Mesa is a very safe place to live. I wouldn't be deterred by these concerns because you can usually just install some kind of deterrent system like a basic security system or even get yourself a dog. And the stats do support that simple measures like these go a very long way to keeping you and your family safe. A fourth and final consideration that might turn you off of Costa Mesa is that the city absolutely suffers from some noise pollution. It's not awful, but it's definitely not negligible either. The reason for this is twofold. First of all, there are three major highways that run either around or through the city of Costa Mesa. The 55 freeway runs right down the center. The 405 freeway runs to the north, and the 73 freeway runs in the southwest direction towards South Orange County. Each of these produce a fair amount of noise on their own, and living near a freeway is definitely something you can get used to, but it is a bit of an adjustment at first. The second part of the noise pollution can be attributed to Costa Mesa's very own John Wayne International Airport. This is an ultra convenient, kind of small, medium-sized airport that's based here in Costa Mesa, but it does contribute to some of that noise pollution. The outbound flight path is pointed right towards the Pacific Ocean and goes out directly over east side and central Costa Mesa, and it is absolutely audible throughout the entire city. The flip side of this noise issue is that Orange County Airport is an absolute dream to travel from. If you've been living in Southern California for any significant amount of time, it's pretty likely that you've flown out of one of our airports that we have here. There are quite a few to choose from, but if you're flying anywhere that isn't really close by, you'll probably be flying out of one of John Wayne International or LA International or Ontario or Long Beach Airport, or maybe even one of the smaller regional airports. I have one word to describe flying out of Los Angeles International Airport or LAX, and that word is miserable. Ontario Airport isn't so bad, but it's quite a drive to get out there. And that's not necessarily convenient because you have to drive out there, you have to park your car, you have to pay for parking, you have to take a shuttle to the terminal. All of it is a bit of a headache. Plus with gas costs being what they are right now, it's just really not convenient. The same thing can be said for Long Beach Airport. Though there is more likely to be significant traffic going into Long Beach than there is going into Ontario. And honestly, I haven't even really figured out if there is affordable parking for the Long Beach Airport. And while it is a super cool little airport that you get out of the car and it feels like you're stepping right into a scene from Mad Men, it's just really not checking all of the boxes in terms of maximal convenience. John Wayne Airport, on the other hand, kind of checks all of the boxes of convenience in pretty much every way. Except for maybe parking, but if you're living in Costa Mesa, you're never really more than a 10 or 15 minute Uber ride away from the front door of the airport itself. And it is technically located in Santa Ana, but it pretty much borders Costa Mesa, Irvine, and Santa Ana equally, giving all of them pretty great access. And the best part of John Wayne Airport, it's the security. If you haven't had the chance to go through security at John Wayne Airport, it is just 
magnificent. I think the longest I've ever waited in line in security at Jiangling Airport is something like 10 minutes. And to remedy this awful 10 minute wait, I finally bucked up and got myself TSA pre-check, I think five or six years ago. Since then, I've never waited behind more than four or five people in line total. And funny enough, I've actually kind of picked up a terrible habit from doing this. Typically, I fly on Southwest Airlines. So while you do have an assigned boarding position, you don't have an assigned seat. And it's kind of just a free-for-all to get onto the plane and sit down wherever you want. And after you've flown on Southwest Airlines a few times, you can pretty much figure out exactly when you need to get to your gate to be able to get into the plane at the right time. Let's just say I have strolled into the airport and jogged to my gate as they were calling my number more times than I'm really comfortable admitting. Long story short, John Wayne Airport is awesome in spite of the noise. So overall, four things you should definitely know before moving here. Each of them kind of has their own consideration and may, or have, may have kind of more or less weight for you personally. But you should definitely be familiar with all of them before you really consider moving here. Do you have more questions about Costa Mesa? I get calls every single day from people just like you who need their questions answered or who need help buying or selling property here in Costa Mesa. So if I can be of service to you in any way at any time, call me, email me, text me. My contact information will be on the screen and in the bio for the video below. And if you have a subject you'd like me to make a video about, please feel free to drop a comment down below. I'm always so happy to learn with you guys. Hey, thanks for checking out my video. If you enjoyed it and you would like to see more like it, please click here to subscribe. My name is Hanny Jazzarelli, aka Hanny the Realtor, and I'm a real estate expert right here in Orange County, California. If I can be of service to you in any way at all, please feel free to call me, email me, text me. My contact information will be on the screen as well as in the drop down for the video below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.